So, hello and welcome back to the fifth episode of the Taylor's Principle Editor. Um, in this episode, I already announced this is a quick episode. I'll show you the post processing volume, what it does, and um, yeah, what effects it has on the level. So, as you see, I uh, have changed the level a bit um, from the lighting. So you see the whole scene is a bit more orange right now. Um, I did this because uh, I really like more, it's a, some bit like orangey light. Uh, so you see here I took the uh, sunlight and on the color. Uh, you can basically modify those values and um, what I did is just played around. You see now you have green sunlight or you can yeah, oversaturate this and I've played around with the values and found a uh, little orange light and I think this looks better in the level if it's yeah it, it looks more realistic um yeah so uh, I show you how it looks without post-processing this is a really easy example you see um, this uh, indicator circle around the laser um, receiver it's basically white it has no bloom or something and uh, the laser beam just does not look really red because it has a white core and uh, just a red insulation, I would say, and um, so yeah, really, it does not look like um, it's yeah because it's white and it's not not great. So um, to do this, we add a post processing volume. First, what is post processing? Um, post processing is basically the after editing of a picture. So after the picture is being uh, rendered, we add some effects like bloom, s like motion blur, or uh, some color correction to it, and um, this makes the picture even better. So to edit it, um, we go to the entity list and drag in post processing effect in. This is, as you see, a little, yeah, yellow, little yellow cylinder, and uh, yeah, you see over here we've got some settings like. Um, Post processing preset, infinite range, fade distance, width, height, and depth, the animator prior to override, and those default name, parent, and platforms and entity ID um, settings. And um, the infinite range uh, just says, uh, will this post processing volume go over the whole level? If we uncheck this, uh, we have basically a radius where this post processing effect will. Um, yeah, activate. I'll show you this. So I move this post processing effect in, uh, let's say, in, in this edge over here, or yeah, we can just put it in this edge and give him a width, height, and depth of, um, let's do two. So this uh, has now an, like a box with, a, with um, oh, that was not right. Um, this has not. Um, so this has now a little 2x2x2 two by two by two box around it, which you actually don't see, um, where this post-processing will activate. So we need a pr preset. All those presets are stored in Content, Tailors, Presets, Post-Processing. And there you got a lot of... So um, what's really funny is Underwater Cave. So we select this. If I play now, you see all is correct. But if I go into this edge here, it does basically not change. Um, maybe, maybe I just um, maybe this uh, span is not. So we put this back to 10 and test. Yeah, you see now here is all normal. If we go into the range, you see we've got the underwater post-processing effect, which basically looks like we are in an underwater cave and. Um, you see, it has this fade, so uh, even um, the more we are in distance to this uh, object, the more um, this effect will apply. So really cool. Um, we don't want that. Uh, we can even now take something like round, and um, uh, this looks like we're getting damage. You see, this is uh, if we get damage. So actually really cool to play around with these effects and really useful for levels. Um, so this is the Nexus Tower ending uh, when we about to... Um, no, this was basically the wrong one. Let me search. Uh, yeah, Tower Please ending. Your channel. Um, that was TeamSpeak. Um, destruction, final stage. If you take this, it actually 
this is the post processing when we destroy the level so it's actually yeah wow big effects huh um so yeah um yeah so um a really cool one and i think the best one is cloud 37 um you basically see if you enter this no real changes to the light and um but i ch uh, to it. Uh, I, I show you. So now it's all right. We'll see if I go into or um, if I go into this post-processing range. You see, it has now a red bloom, and um, this is also a bit red, and it yeah has just better visuals. So um, yeah, but you can even change this on your own. So um, for example, RGB offset. Um, here you can offset the pixels from the red channel, for example. So if you put this um, one, uh, up, you basically see really buggy things. So you can play around with it, and uh, yeah, it's basically just like I don't know. It's not drugs, but it's not a bug. So um, you can play around with these values to achieve that what you want to use. And um, yeah, you've got here settings for the EV, so how dark the scene should be. Um, you can basically test this in the editor by putting the EV. So now it's it has the mid to 0 0.25, which is a bit darker. And you can basically select this to what you want. The maximal EV is 2, which is even darker. So uh, you can change values you want here. Motion blur strength is put to zero. If you put this to one, um, you see we've got, yeah, we've got much motion blur. So this is like um, if you want to put a death scene or something. Gaussian blur radius, you can put this up, I think, to five or so, and this will apply some blur. Oh, uh, really cool. I think it's it's yeah, nice, and um the aperture size from the depth of field, uh, the gamma correction. You can even uh, adjust the saturation, so this is really cool. If you push this a bit up, um, the image is more saturated. Yeah. Obviously, I need to say I really like this setting. It's it's just oversaturated, but it's cool. I, I really like this. It's, um, so, you see, um, <laughs> I really like this uh, oversaturated image, but that's just my I like it um, but playing around with this value is really useful so maybe putting this to 0 to 2 or so uh, makes the whole image more saturated than it is before you see now this is bit yeah in German we say blass I don't know what we say here um, it's just a bit cold the image is cold right and if you go in here you see the image is more warm and more saturated and even if you connect this up you see it looks better than uh, with the cold image applied so maybe playing around with this putting this a bit higher see more saturated image so uh, when I did a level I kept this at 0 0.4 or something because this basically gives the right saturation for me and uh, this is for me the best setting um, then Gamma correction, it's set to 2.2. .2. If you put this to a lower value, you see it's actually more dark, the image. And if you put this to 0, I think the image will be, yeah, really, really dark. Maybe you could do this as a... I don't know where you use this for. And if you put this really high, the image is really right. So the value with a 2 is actually yeah just a great value and um, yeah the lightness adjust is just if you put this down to minus one um, things are black or th things are not lit up very f high and if you put this to plus one things are lit up more than before so yeah I don't like this and the like streets um, you can just put the brightness for example of the light streaks over here you see the whole image has no changes I don't see the changes in there so really much settings for you to use and um, 
Yeah, to apply this on the uh, on the whole level, you can just tick the infinite range one, and um, yeah, the post processing will go over the level. Uh, for me, this setting is perfect. I really like this a bit saturated image. Um, if you say, okay, I don't like this, uh, then simply don't do not use it, and um, you can select the post processing on so that you want, uh, so you. Uh, the level looks like you want in the post processing and um yeah maybe we put the saturation a bit down like uh how about this value i'm really an optimist i screw at this value so long till it fits and i think yeah i really like this setting now so uh once it did this you can basically save this as your own um post processing preset but you do not have to so i can go into my tutorial level and save this under PP for post processing and then we have the post processing. This is all for this tutorial. I hope you liked it and um we will see you next time.